So, so you talked about that briefly about uh, what technology tools you guys are are mm -hmm. diving into into the digital second realm with the uh, with the ghost phones. Uh, what uh, I I heard something that you were talking about with these ghost phones that was like what the heck I didn't even know anything that about this that existed. Uh, you talked about something about uh, silent dot link uh, is where you can I guess buy with Bitcoin a uh, an e sim. Could you talk about that a little bit? What the uh, heck is an e sim and how how does this work and how why uh, how does that happen? <laughs> I yeah, don't know. I looked into it for a little bit, but I'm like, how how do an e yeah, sim like not a physical sim card? Yep. Correct. Yeah. It's it's uh it's it's crazy. Um and, and and it's crazy. It's all super super easy user friendly. So anyway, um yeah, so this ghost phone, um you can um at least with these with these with these specific ones that, that we offer, Google Pixels, um I think uh um there's there's different iterations of these. Um there's obviously a lot of competition in the free and open source mobile space right now. Um, privacy focused ones. Um, so there are other ones out there, but but this specific version has that eSIM card functionality. Um, so yeah, silent.link is is the website, and they offer you can get mobile, you can pay for mobile data as you go with Bitcoin, um, or via the Lightning Network, or you can actually get like a US or UK quote unquote identity, um, which is an actual phone number that you can receive um, text messages and voice calls with. So you can't like make phone calls with the number or whatever, but like if you need two factor authentication for something, um, you could set it up that way. Not say, uh, uh, actually, yeah, yeah you can. Oh. You can and signal works too. I do have signal set up. Um, um, I do have a, a signal account set up with it. So, um, yeah, it's, oh, it's, okay. it's, it's, it's incredible. It's like $60 a year. Um, and, uh, and so yeah, there's, there's no login. Um, you, um, it just, it opens up a page, you, you pay for it and your receipt is just this order number, um, or it's just this URL that you save and it has all your information with your phone number and, you know, your payment, your track, your ID, your transaction ID or whatever. Um, and then, um, there's a spot to, um, there's a spot to scan and you just go into that spot on the, on the ghost phone and you scan the digital eSIM card and boom, your phone number is associated with, um, with that phone now. Um, yeah, it's, it's crazy. Wow. Um, it's crazy easy. Um, and like, and again, like that, the freedom of open source, the freedom I came from, from, from spy phones, from iPhones, Apple. And, um, I mean, God, there's such a restricted hell holes. Now I know I knew that before, but now that I've experienced, <laughs> um, open source, it's like, oh my gosh, it's like, I can like choose what tower I want to connect to. Um, with the silent dot leak number two. So it's like, don't want to connect to the AT&T one or the Verizon or so like there, there's just like, it's basically like no anything, way, anything no you way. So you do. can switch mobile network towers. Wow. <clears throat> in the area. So yeah, sorry, sorry. Yeah. So you can switch the, all the mobile network towers. Yeah. The ones in the area. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's crazy. Um, wow. Yeah. A lot of the stuff wasn't possible. Like you were, you were, you are talking a little bit, a little bit ago that like, uh, you know, walking the walk is important, but like there, there's, there's a lot of like theoretical concepts and like frameworks that need laid before action be, can be taken. And especially like in this open source technology space, like it was really, really comp complicated to do these things. Um, really before like last year, um, like even like the, uh, um, I'll mention the Bitcoin space. That's another one I've been going really deep into the Bitcoin privacy realm with, uh, with things like Sam uh, with Samurai wallet, which I'm now enabled with now, now that I'm on Android. Cause that's only on Android. So, um, okay. But, uh, I like, uh, so there's the, the ghost phone, the, the ghost phones, which are super easily user friendly to use. Um, <clears throat> you have the freedom boxes, which that's the, the purpose of that too, is basically, um, you have a user interface with, with one click installs and, out, and running apps. So you could run, um, I'm not going to get all into it now because I, I don't even know how it's going to look completely at the passing versions of these. But um, a, a lot of this stuff has gone to a point where it's where, okay. it's, where it's really user friendly is, is, is the point. That's what I'm trying to get to. So um, like we offer these ghost phones. Um, Jamin, um, like there's a, there's some of these similar ones like people like there's outfits. I'll charge three fifty or four hundred bucks for these. Um, and we charge two fifty because um, the and, and this is the, I think it's two fifty nine with, with for the shipping now. And the reason for this is. Um, the, I guess the, the privacy, um, architecture that Jamin's, um, I guess putting together and trying to, to put out, um, which is very complex and hard to explain much like Pazni is, um, like the whole overarching concept. So I, I understand where he's coming from on that one, but, um, it might require, you might, it might, you might need to have multiple phones for different purposes. So like if you need two or three phones, like you can't be spending like 500 bucks on three different phones. Right. So, um, 
these things are you know um, yeah so yeah that's the the purpose of it too is we're, we're trying to get these into the hands of folks um because um we're we're, we're also building out our infrastructure too um or i guess our, our communications and uh, networking infrastructure so um i think a lot of important framework is being laid right now um, a lot of foundational work um I mean, again, I don't know what it's going to transpire into. I can't foresee. I like I I I couldn't have foreseen that this happening a couple of years ago. I couldn't foresee um, what, what's transpiring right now. So like, I don't even know what the hell is going to happen in you know a handful of years. So I'm not I'm not closing off possibilities as I've said before. But um, I think a lot of a lot of important foundational work is being being done right now. Um, but yeah, I guess we'll see. Absolutely, man. And uh, you know, I. I kind of define myself as a, as an optimist. Uh, uh, one of my listeners got me into uh, Robert Anton L Wilson. He had a, he had a quote where he says, uh, "I define myself as an optimist because pessimists never get anything done." And I think uh, I think that's important that you know while we're trying to build something as an alternative to the current system that we're living in. I think we kind of have to we have to remain optimistic and and push for these new ideas, different ways of doing things, um, and you know try to get the try to get the real solutions out there. Now these de Google phones, uh, that is an excellent price, man. Like uh, we at the activation tour, Ramiro and Romani is doing these different. Uh, de googled phones as well and then um i guess they're also based on like the the android uh pixel or whatever mm -hmm. um and then the only other option i know of is like one of these linux based phones i guess like the uh i think it's called the Librem or something like that yeah but um but yeah, wow, that that's a really great price for uh one of these de googled phones. So it comes without any of the any of the Google stuff installed and it's all running off of what you're calling what you this you call it the cat it said it's Calix OS is what Correct. it's called. Yeah, yeah. Um yeah, so so Calix OS is another um it's it's a more user friendly. Um, it comes. It comes uh, um, as Jamin explained. I don't know anything about graph. I've, I haven't done graphene or lineage myself, but they come more. Um, they're for more advanced users, um, where you have to basically set up everything from scratch um, per se. That's that's the, the impression that I've gotten. Whereas Calyx comes with um, really good privacy tools already pre-installed. Um, so um, so that that's a that's a major benefit. And yeah, as you're saying, the the de googled version of it. Um, which yeah, it's 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 funny. Um, Jamie mentioned it, and I, yeah, I, I point it out every time now that you know, like the w what you have to do now, like if you want a de googled phone, you have to buy a Google Pixel. Um, like that's like where we're at in in, in the world. <laughs> um, is is that's like yeah, that's that's where we're at. Um, but uh, uh, yeah, so they 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 run Calyx OS. Um, um, but they also have this. It's called Micro G. And this is this is the functionality that allows for the eSIM card, I think, because I think that requires a Google dependency, which Graphene or Lineage, one of the two, um, is just working on uh, on putting out. I saw I saw him put out on Twitter a couple of days ago. Um, but uh, so yeah, th this has Micro G, which allows um, it fulfills that Google dependency, but it anon anonymizes all the data that's that's released, so it changes out the I think the IMEI number, which is the number associated with the the one that tracks all the information on the phone, like associates all the information with the phone. It randomizes all that information, the tracking. Um, the all that all that stuff before it sends it off to Google, so you can still use, um, oh. like I said, the eSIM card. You can still use uh, some of the apps. Um, Aurora, the Aurora App Store uh, is on there, which is basically like a Google Play Store, um, <clears throat> where you can download Google Play Store apps. Um, and some of them require, um, some of them have Google dependencies. So this allows you to, um, to use, so if you want to allow um, some of those on your phone, you you can. Um, there's um, I guess the only thing to really the, the only thing um, to keep in mind is that the more the more things you put on there, um, the more areas you, you're vulnerable to attack. It's a more I guess the the, the terminology is a higher higher uh, you know attack vector, higher attack surface. So, um, yeah, <clears throat> but yeah, I mean it's it's been a fun realm to get into. Um, and and as you're saying, I'm, I'm happy you pointed it out. There's there's competition in, in, in the in the and I guess the privacy space, and I'm so happy to see it because um, there wasn't a lot of competition. Um, back in 2015, um, there was, yeah, there, there wasn't, there was, I mean, there, there was, but, um, we've got, we've, it's definitely advanced. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think another one is like the clear phone, I guess. Uh, somebody came into, um, I, uh, part, I've got a little freedom cell group going and we had somebody come and do a presentation on, uh, on the, uh, the clear phone, but, uh, maybe if you're up for it, maybe we can have you do a presentation on this, uh, ghost phone or something sometime to our group. Um, if, if that might be possible. Because that's really the issue that we're dealing with, with these, you know, ghost phones, ghost pads, whatever, is that there's no way that you can organize with, with other people and have these distributed tribes if you have a snitch in your pocket all the time. Mm -hmm. People are literally wearing wires all the time. They have a snitch in their pocket and they're trying to do clandestine things. That's never going to work. You know, I'm focused on this project now because I really see how the unfettered flow of communication is what really has prompted this, you know, shift in consciousness. And that if this does, if this can't continue this way and people can't communicate freely with each other, then all the dis distributed networks that have formed um, aren't going to be very effective and they're not going to, uh, they're not going to be able to do what they could do. Um, if you can't communicate, especially when you're basically part of a dispersed tribe at this point, if you can't communicate without being monitored, it basically hamstrings anything, you know, anything going forward. Step up your privacy and order a ghost phone today. Just visit libertyunderattack.com forward slash ghost phone. Again, libertyunderattack.com forward slash ghost phone. And make sure to keep a lookout for more ghost pads, privacy tools, freedom boxes, and more. LibertyUnderAttack.com is the website. Liberty Under Attack Publications. Share your story. Find your freedom.